Hello, I'm Sharon Farber and welcome to Painted Path Watercolor Studio. This is going to be my very first video demonstration of painting a watercolor painting. First, I'll show you my painting area here in my studio. There is my palette. I clean it in between paintings usually. So for me, that's clean. We've got brushes, water. This is a photo of what I'm going to be painting. It is a commission. It's going to be 8 by 10. The first thing I'm going to do is use some masking fluid. This is masking fluid and a synthetic brush to put masking fluid on the parts of the painting that I don't want paint to go on. My masking fluid is on the cat and the pot. The masking fluid is now dry. It's a little sticky to the touch. It's a technique dry. called wet on wet. So I'm going to wet the painting, wet the paper first with reasonably clean water. Right over the masking fluid. And I want it all wet, not too drippy, just wet. So now I'm going to take my pre-mixed background and I'm going to put it on. This is a wet and wet wash. I think that the background came out very nice. It's nice and even and smooth but I think it's a little bit light. I want the background a little bit darker so that my cat is really going to show up and the whites of the flowers. So here I go, I'm going to do the same thing again. Wet the whole thing. Nice and smooth. Now I'm going to remove the masking fluid using a masking fluid remover. I often use my fingers, which works well also but I don't want to smear paint on it. Look at the beautiful white cat underneath the masking fluid. I have painted some of the initial subtle colors on the cat and a little bit of the eyes and now I've mixed up a uh, color for the paper on the pot. So now that I have it, I will start doing the pot. Here's an initial wash for the pot. So now I'm going to start on the greens. I start with a light green because in watercolor you always start light and then you get darker and darker and darker. Okay, I've got a lot of the colors in on the plants, bottom layers, and I decided it was time to put the little plate in. I mixed up what could be called a black or a dark and I used it, all it is is ultramarine blue and burnt sienna mixed together without a lot of water and that's not the, that's the, uh, surrounds the tabletop. Okay, we've got some of the shading in. I got a lot of the composition in and now it's time to really focus in on the cat. Now we have a, some more work done on the cat. What I'm going to do now is take the tape off, which makes it look a lot prettier. So here's the finished painting once the tape's taken off. So now it's time to clean my palette and palette cover, which are a mess, and get ready for another painting which might very well be this one which would be a 16 by 20.